Buenos dias, fellow gamers. My name is Sid. How are you guys doing? Today, I do have another banger video for you. And this time, it is about a weapon that quickly became my new favorite shotgun. G. Kuva. So back. So, why the Kuva so back? I mean, when I first played it, the damage output wasn't that good. Like, the damage I was doing, it was not really great. But um, I figured something out. The more fire rate I actually put on the weapon, the stronger it became. And um, while well, combining Kuva so back with a lot of fire rate also adds a ton of fun. Like, Ever since I started playing the Kuva Sobek, I, I'm just addicted to it. I can't help it. It's just so much fun and it's actually pretty strong too. You know, I'm not even a shotgun player, but the Kuva Sobek literally makes me use or love shotguns even more. And that's crazy. Like, I never thought that would be possible. Because I'm always like a person that uses beam weapons or other stuff. But damn, the Kuva Sobek, it's just something else, brother. Also, look at this. Well, okay, but how do you actually get this weapon? Let me show you. How shocking it must have been for you to have killed a girl, only to turn around and find the body gone. <laughs> well, that was that was quite something. Either way, <laughs> what I want to show you is um I went to Cassini Saturn, which is um a capture if I remember correctly, and um if you want my well, suggestion, I would use a frame like Saren or Korra, because um, if you use that frame during that mission to summon that Kuva Lich, um, it's gonna have Toxin as an element, and I think that is always what you want to go for. You know, Toxin is quite um, strong on any weapon. By the way, you also know what's like super crazy. Um, well, the fact it took me like two attempts to kill that Lich, and also the fact we have a 60 freaking percent of Toxin, that's ridiculous. I mean, to be fair, on my um, Tenet the Galaxian, I did have like the lowest amount of percentage, so um, fair enough, I guess. But um, I never actually got 60%, so the fact we have 60% on my Kuva Sobek is it's a dream come true, like it's, 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 it's crazy. Before we get to the Kuva Sobek build, there's two short things I want to show you. First of all, I'm using the Arcane Avenger, which basically gives me critical chance, as on my first mod setup that I'm going to show you, we don't have... But we don't really have critical chance, but um, Arcane Avenger makes up for that, okay? Also, the other Arcane I'm using is Arcane Tempo, as it increases the fire rate, and trust me, having fire rate on Kuva Sobek is something you definitely want. However, you can also go for something else. You could also go for Arcane Rise, which basically gives you, on reload, a 60% chance for 150% damage to primary weapons for 24 seconds. I mean, that's a high percentage, so you're, like, always getting that 150% damage, you know, so... Pretty good arcane too. Another important thing I would suggest is um, that you use a Warframe that has two of those emerald green archon shots. Because if you go for the max stacks of corrosion, um, it doesn't matter if they're Tarforged, you just need them like two times. Normally it's fine. Um, with that, like if you have two of those, you can fully strip armor. And that's going to make the Kuva Sobek even more devastating for the enemies. Now we're getting to the Kuva Sobek build. Or as I named my weapon, the Trickster. Well, that might be because I played too much DVD lately, or just because I watched too much Supernatural. Either way, in both products, I do love the Trickster, so that's why I named it like this. I am the Trickster. Either way, for the mods, we do have Prime to Point Blank to increase the damage, we do have Galvanized Savvy to give us additional status chance, and also, this is very important, 40% direct damage per status type. So, um, as you can see, we're going to have a lot of status effects. We're going to have corrosive, slash, radiation, puncture, impact. So, um, the more status effects we have, the more damage it actually does. So, this mod is a must-have, and it does a crazy amount of damage to enemies. Hunter munitions, because uh, we're going to apply slash, and it's just going to, like, kill them right away. Shotgun barrage. Why? Because I do love having fire rate. However, if you remember, we have arcane tempo, which increases the fire rate on critical hit on our warframe. So if you don't want this, if you want to go for more damage, let's say you want to have like a faction mod or something, you know, like primed cleanse a grenier or a corpus or whatever, you know, you can literally put that in there too. 
Galvanize Hell, of course, a must-have with multi-shot as well. Atomic Fallout, this one is a personal preference. You don't need this one. Well, there's two things I like about this mod. First of all, we do have increased magazine capacity, which means we can spray more. And, well, second of all, we do also have radiation. If you remember, um, due to the fact we have radiation, we're going to get more damage out of Galvanized Savvy. You know, so that's, that's super nice too. However, if you want to go for more critical... Um, chance slash damage you can also do that you know you can go for primed ravage and you're pretty much good to go there's another build here that has a primed ravage and critical deceleration um you can go for that i think it's pretty strong too however since we already have the critical chance from our arcane avenger from revenant um i mean of course having more crit is always nice but to be fair, you can also um, equip a Sentinel that gives you critical chance. So um, I think I'm, I'm pretty good with this build. You know, this, this build is pretty fun too. Plus, like I said, we have additional magazine capacity, so you can spray more. And it just adds to the fun, like a little bit more. Shell Shock, because uh, with this mod, we're going to have the corrosive status effect, uh, which is exactly what we're going to need if we want to strip that enemy armor. Um, this ribbon I actually rolled myself. It is the Kuva Sobek Hexa Satyata. Damage, multi-shot, status chance, not bad. Um, I think an ideal ribbon would be something like multi-shot, critical damage and fire rate, um, or critical chance. But then again, you don't always need critical chance. But um, well, multi-shot and critical damage are definitely the main things I would go for. And like I said, probably um, fire rate. For the Exodus mod, of course, Vigilante supplies as this gives us an additional 5% critical chance from primary weapons. And for the Arcane, we're using Primary Deadhead. I usually go with, uh, where is it? I usually go with Primary Merciless, um, just to increase the damage and also the reload speed, which is something that comes in handy when you're playing shotguns. Um, however, I decided to use Primary Deadhead because you just have this, well, additional percentage to headshot multipliers. You also have um, a little bit less weapon recoil, which is never too bad on shotguns. You know, it helps you uh, proc those headshots more consistently and of course you're also getting 100% damage for 24 seconds which stacks up to three times so that's 360% damage in addition. Before getting started with the gameplay there's something I would like to show you in the simulacrum. So if you spawn um, corrupted heavy gunners which um, usually have a ton of armor you're gonna see how strong this weapon actually is. Okay just take a look at this enemy okay if you if you aim at the head and you shoot this is what happens and boom it's dead you know. Like, the great thing about this is you can literally see how fast it's gonna like strip the armor. Look at this guy. Like, shoot him two times, shoot him four times, you know, and boom, his armor's gone, which means he's more vulnerable to damage and you can easily just like kill him, you know. It's actually crazy. One thing I forgot to mention is that we have Nourish on our Warframe. So if you remember, we have Galvanized Savvy and well, we get more damage for each status type. So if we proc or if we cast uh, Nourish, we're also going to deal a ridiculous amount of damage, like even more, even more. You know, at some point, it, it just like even kills them faster than I can strip the armor, which is a good thing, right? That's also another nice side effect of um, radiation. You're gonna see that they're gonna like shoot themselves. See them? Shooting themselves. <laughs>
but maybe it's not the strongest shotgun in the game but as you can tell i'm having a lot of like a ton of fun just like spraying and killing you know it, it's it just feels so good dude like you just have like a like a huge group how dare you draw my weapon the fuck game anyway before i was so rudely interrupted as you can see he's praying and praying down it just feels so good dude. plus the radiation doing like it's work too you. you know it's like them shooting themselves <sighs> such a nice way of a little bit of crowd control at least so i don't have to play mix or something like that you know so dude i i just i can't help it playing this weapon is so satisfying dude i know <laughs> it's, it's so good damn man you know what this weapon reminds me of a little bit it reminds me of the kuva cone because you can start off shooting slow but once you get a headshot once you trigger that arcane tempo your fire rate is going to be ridiculous, especially if you have like a wisp in your team and you, your fire rate is going to go for the roof, trust me. Like, I, I've played um, a survival mission yesterday with a wisp and, well, damn, dude, it's, it's like, I've never sprayed so much in my entire life and it was actually like a ton of fun. Like, damn. That's gonna do it for this video. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you awesome people in the next one.